gonna throw my ring. Leave. So you love her too? Yeah, I love her. We broke up. A man lying to me and cheating on me? I can't do that. I'm getting back to me. You sure? Put single on her profile page, you know. What? Hey, this is Hima. Do you want to go to dinner tonight? Sure. I look forward to it. Does he make you laugh like I do? Actually, he does. He lies, bro. Everything goes wrong. Your mom's on life support. with the wrong girl. I miss you so much, it hurts. That's not gonna be okay. All our accounts are frozen. All the money is gone. I'm done. Tim, I can't lose you. Okay, I gotta, I, I gotta have words with the people at BET. I'm not even blaming Tyler Perry because I feel like you know he he creates the content and it's up to BET and how they distribute it. So this is to BET. What the hell wrong with y'all? For real. I, on, on the marketing side of things, because I was an advertising major in college, like so. On the one hand, I'm I'm very impressed. You're creating buzz. People are talking hashtags are trending but at the same time you got me emotionally freaked up over here so last night zach and fatima they had a moment where they reconciled they put it all out there and they made up and it's like finally finally they got their stuff together but then we see the dang trailer for zatima season 2b i was up till 5 a.m this morning you know, could I watch the episode? I, I I took a nap a couple hours before Sisters came on. Episode aired. I tweeted. Recorded all my video. Well, I actually, did, uh, you know, live tweeted. Then I did a live stream. And I'm like, okay, you know, everybody in the house is asleep. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rush through and record all my videos. That way, when I wake up late in the day, all I need to do is edit and I can have all my videos up today on Thursday as opposed to Friday and over the weekend. But I woke up to an inbox full of messages and, you know, Twitter notifications. And I see a bunch of messages that say Zatima. And I'm like, yeah, I know everybody must be excited about Zach and Fatima working it out. But then the trailer apparently aired on BET. Somebody, you know, grabbed it and posted it online. What the hell? All of that, yes, Zach and Fatima just went straight the hell out the window. I know some people, why do you cuss so much? Because when I'm feeling the way I'm feeling, y'all got my blood pressure up before noon when I watched that trailer. I'm like, my first instinct and the first thing I want to say, I think collectively we all owe Deval Ellis and his character of Zach the biggest apology ever. It's like, I want to admit my wrongdoings as loud as I was dragging Zach for the past few weeks on Sisters. And let me just say, just thanks again to DeVal for jumping on that uh, Twitter spaces with me to talk about the character of Zach. Because like he said, folks, you know, I hate how BET is like, you know, distributing the episodes between Sisters and Zatima because it's just messing things up. Watch Zatima season 2B to understand why zach is acting the way he is now with karen and after all the flack and all the shit i gave zach looking at what fatima's doing with paul i'm sorry i am sorry because i'm just sitting up here like this woman got the audacity the audacity to be in her feelings take off the ring pack her bags and okay oh boy oh boy oh boy let i don't know where to start 
but we're going to start somewhere. And folks, you know the drill. I'm going to go through every piece of dialogue, every scene, put it together as best I can. At this very moment, I'm recording this on June 20th at 2 p.m. So I don't have the high quality official release of the trailer from BET. So I have yet to decide if I'll just use the screen grab or if I'll just you I'll wait to see the official one. But I'll probably get this out today because people want it. Before I get started, please take a moment to give a like on the video. Just hit the thumbs up button. Hit subscribe. We are what 300 260,000 subscribers let's get that number up so please hit subscribe share this video around because man i tell you for team or something else okay so it looks like it looks like we pick up where we left off to an extent i guess fatima went over to angela's place and then she goes back to zach's place with angela in tow Fatima pulls off her ring and throws it across the room. And Zach is like, oh, so you're just going to toss my ring, huh? And he goes, leave. And Fatima's like, so you love her too? And then she sla and then Zach's like, yeah, I love her. And this woman slapped the taste out of his mouth. I'm just slapped it out of his mouth. That was crazy. So then instead of hitting her, Instead of hitting her, you know, because Zach is not Jonah, Zach goes around and he slams pots and pans and glasses and he just screams and Fatima leaves. From there, you know, she goes over to um, Angela's place and she's pretty much, you know, talking about how she's free. It's like, you know, pretty much, you know, Zach lied to me and he cheated on me. I can't do that. I mean, look, there are a lot of cutaways where it's clear that Fatima is talking to Angela between, you know, being over at Angela's house and being at her office at work. So, you know, it does get a bit confusing from time to time. But simply put, Fatima is like, I'm ready to do me again. And Angela's like, are you sure about that? She gets on the phone. And calls Paul asking if he would like to go to dinner. And he's like, sure, I look forward to it. So then they go to like, you know, a club or something. And you notice that there's an open mic sign on the back of the wall. So from there, this is a hilarious scene where it looks like Fatima looks around. And she notices Zach sitting a few tables away, just staring dead at her and Paul. And then he's there. I don't know if he's there with two other women, but he's at a table where I see two other women laughing. So it looks like he rolls up to the table. And he's asking Fatima. Paul's just sitting there like, oh, man, this dude. Does he make you laugh the way I do? Actually, he does. And I'm thinking like, well, how many times did Paul make her chuckle? I don't remember. So from there... We got Nate and Tony there as well because that looks like he's wearing, you know, a jacket over his, uh, you know, sweater or whatever. And Fatima's on stage singing and it looks like the song she sings is directed at Zach. And I'm like, I know, and look, I don't know the context, but it looks to me like Fatima's owning his ass on stage. I can't, look, as much as I'm excited to see Crystal singing in the show, I'm just looking at the context of she's about to light Zach's ass up on stage, which has me going, if she's really about to roast his ass with a song, yet she has the, in front of a whole club of people, but she has the audacity to be mad about being humiliated when Zach ran over to Karen after the whole fire situation. Come on now. So we get a few other scenes between Fatima and Paul like for example Fatima's in the parking garage at work and Paul kind of strolls up to her you know is you know looking at her through the window and they smiling at each other then over um, you know in the office to Angela she's like you know what she's messing with the wrong girl now there's a moment where we see Fatima at work and she's handed like you know some sort of like uh folder with some paperwork on it remember Deja told Zach that she was going to sue Fatima so it seems like she's going through with that lawsuit so from there, 
we actually have a few interesting scenes here where Fatima's over at her parents' house. Like, for one, she's over at her parents' house saying we broke up, and her dad just looks down in complete disappointment. Even though we don't see her mom's face, we already know her mom is ecstatic about this. So, um, we go over to the next day. We see Nate and Tony in Zach's office at work at Rise Ventures and Nate's like you know she put single on her profile page again right and Zach's like wait what so we also see Zach you know going through it's like my life bro everything goes wrong and we see him walking through you know uh, um, you know on the sidewalk it looks like his brother and mom are standing outside this could be after they've lost their home because remember those their drug dealings and whatnot all that illegal stuff they're about to be kicked out of their place but they're just posted up on the wall and Zach is going to see him. I don't know why he's going over there, but we'll just have to wait and see. But then later in the trailer, we see that his mom's in the hospital. It's like, my mom's on life support. And then Connie is, you know, holding on to him at the hospital because he's breaking down. Now, there is a scene where we see Connie walking out of Zach's place. And strangely enough, we see Deja and Fatima standing together. Connie looking shocked. Now, something tells me. Connie is probably coming out of Zach's place because, you know, things between them didn't work out or, you know, it has to do with Zach's mom. Because I'm thinking this could be how um, Fatima finds out about what's going on. Wait, what? A, wait, Fatima and Deja, they're in the same scene together and she isn't beating her up. Maybe, just maybe, Fatima decides to confront Deja over the lawsuit and she drops the charges or... You know, she doesn't drop the charges. And, you know, when Fatima and Deja are going at it, Connie just so happens to come out of Zach's place. And it's like, you know, it's on site. So from there, we go over to, you know, Zach trying to win Fatima back. You know, it looks like they're both wearing blue. And he has like a container probably with some food in it, like maybe her favorite snacks or whatever. And he's like, I miss you so much. It's hurting. But she just walks away and leaves him. Then we get another scene where it looks like Tony and Zach are standing across from Paul, but then it looks like Tony's going in, but another guy just randomly kind of breaks him up, so we don't really know what's going on there. And from there, we go over to Zach beating up on Tony. I don't know what the hell is going on there, but... We do know that at some point, Zach and Fatima seem to reconcile. Now, there is a great moment. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. It looks kind of cute, even though I don't really rock with Paul like that. We see Fatima and Paul just sitting together on their swings. And honestly, I feel like this could be where things break off. Because even though we didn't see her full face, we do see a shoulder next to Zach. Because at some point, Bryce and Angela come over to... Zach's place and I guess this means Angela and Bryce are back together mm -hmm. but Bryce is all all our assets are frozen and Zach is like all the money is gone and we see that Fatima's shoulder is right there next to his because it looks like she's wearing like that brown throw that she was wearing when she was sitting on the swings with um Paul so it looks like that could be the last scene that these two maybe Paul is a good guy and he's like you know what I know you're still in love with Zach so you know you you should go back to him I don't know maybe I'm just trying to give him too much credit but we do know at some point that Fatima does come concerned over Zach's mom because at the hospital you know we see Nate and Tony are standing in front of Fatima and Tony's telling Fatima Zach's not going to be okay about this um and then we get another scene where it looks like Fatima's dad takes things to his own hands. And we see Fatima sitting on the couch and it looks like he let Zach in because maybe Zach is invited over by him. So it looks like these two might talk behind the scenes at some point. And then we get to the final scene of the promo where in Dr. Reed's office, yes, it's Dr. Reed's office. Zach is going, Fatima, I can't lose you. So it looks like this is where the therapy starts. But the thing that has me going, I can't give Fatima that much credit anymore. It looks like she's about to sex it up with Paul. Now, a couple reasons for this. It looks like this could happen twice. She's taking off her red dress or red top. And she is wearing this lovely violet bra. And I'm like, that's the same red she was wearing when she came down the stairs in Angela's for that date with Paul. 
Then another scene that looks like she's wearing like a blue robe and she's shoving him on the couch. And I'm like, if this heifer has sex with Paul, they're going to be some problem, especially because it seems to me that Zach confirmed in Sisters last night he didn't sleep with Connie because he straight up said, you're the only woman I ha want to have sex with. Now, you could argue, well, Jeremy, Jeremy, Zach and Fatima are broken up. So if she has sex with Paul, then that's not cheating. Just like in the same way, Zach having sex with Karen at the salon wasn't cheating because at the time, he and Fatima weren't together. And the only difference is there's a possible baby in the mix. So even if she has sex with Paul, it's nowhere near as bad as Zach having, Zach having sex with Karen regardless it's to spur the moment it's like hurt people hurt people and she's clearly only using paul to get over zach the same way karen was using aaron to get over zach just saying and it's a bad reflection on her character because you look at all the shit she's been you know going through and sisters all the hell she's been raising and i'm just sitting here now look at you now look at you now to be fair zach kind of got this thing in motion because it looks like he was just lying to fatima about having sex with Connie, so in a way it could be his fault. But bump that, I'm Team Zach, Zach attack baby, because for Team over here tripping. And that's all I gotta say. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on the trailer. I can't wait for August 24th, and I'll catch you all in the next video.